All right, so we are going to be working on making a action sequence. So you're going to go to scripts and we're going to load files into a stack. So you pretty much got to have your sequence done already. So I've got my files right here and I'm going to click OK. I got them all in the stack. I'm going to open them up. Boom, 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 boom. And this is going to take about a minute. So while this is loading, uh, what we're eventually going to try to go to is, there we go, is we're eventually going to try and add all of this in. I don't want that there. I'm going to get throw this back over somewhere else, over here. This works better. Um, but we're going to try to get all of these pictures into a sequence like this. So we load all the individual images, which I just did by going once again to to scripts in file and load stack. This is the same as you're not, and this gives us all of our pictures. So anyone. So I start turning off the layers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nothing is on nine. That layer is nothing. So um, if I just turn on like half of these, I get four, one, two, three, four. Um, I would want you to do at least five images. So like if I come back to here and I just take a couple of these guys out of here, one, two, three, four, five. This is the minimum I would need uh, for me to accept this project from you. I'd need at least five of these guys. Because I'm making the requirement that there are five images. So, uh, but anyway, we can turn all of these on, it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a mask for all of them. So you can go ahead and make a mask on any of them that you want. And I'm just going to go down. Uh, and I'm only going to show you how to do the first one or two because it is the same procedure over and over again. And the last one you don't need a mask. So go to this one. I'm going to zoom in on that picture. So I'm zoomed in. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take this mask. I'm going to make him disappear. So I'm going to Take my black, my brush. I'm gonna make my brush size a little larger. To start, uh, and I'm just gonna paint him out as best I can. Come in here, just make him go away. And obviously, I'm doing this for the the video, so I'm gonna rush a little bit. Not really do my number one job. Let me see the arm from the other one is coming through there. So just gonna come in and try to finish this out quickly. Now this is another one. The more pictures you do, the more time this takes, but you can get some really cool effects. So gonna take all of this out of here now. We can always go back in later if you want to do it quick and then come back and see what you got to touch up. Especially if you're not doing what I did where I turned them black and white because I thought that gave a real nice effect. You can really kind of do this quickly. Um, you like notice over there I really got a little lazy. Like I'm getting lazy now because these pictures as you would want are all taken with a tripod so you have nice consistent background between the images maybe that's not going to happen for all of them uh, but so we're going to paint ourselves out and then what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to invert this and to invert you do control i so that brings me to the foreground. Uh, and if I still got some stuff in here I want to bring in that I didn't get, I can do that, do that, some little stuff. But 
I gotta take care of this area here. So that where the arm goes through, I've got to paint that black now. Because that arm should be above the helmet. Get that all out of there. Gonna come down, flip the brush. Just making sure they're real close. And this is something I might zoom in for. Okay, so I've got that. That's uh, the logo on the helmet. See there. Got all of this. If there's anything down here I I want to bring back into my image, I can do that. If I want to bring this shadow back in. So you got things to look around. You can see kind of some areas where there's a little bit of a difference. You might want to come in and soften it up. That's up to you. And this is fine if all you want to do is just go through the sequence in color. Now, if you want to add a little to it, so if I go back in, so I got to go back in. What I like to do uh, with these sequences, I like to add a little something. So like this guy, oh mine, I'm going to add uh, black and white to them. So I'm just going to come in on the layer. I'm going to add black and white. It'll turn my whole image black and white. And I'm just going to right click and go merge down. So it'll go right onto the image below. So see now I got nice black and white. And this is where, if you're doing this, you're going to have to go in and clean this up by just clicking the layer mask. And you're going to have to go in and just kind of clean it up because you don't want, obviously you don't want any of the area to uh, show up as black and white when it should have color in it. So I'm going to go in, restore the color where I want. And... Uh, Let's see how I'm doing at the top. Top looks pretty good. Uh, I do know I went over here and just to show you that you could. You can't see it much on the gray and the white, but it happens. And then if you happen to like get one of these, you can always just go back in. And if you want softness or transition, you know, you can always change your, your brush where you can kind of fade it in, fade it out. Okay, so this is the whole procedure. You do this. You know, if we go and look. We just do this again and again and again and again and again and again. And then on the last one, we don't have to do anything. It's just done. Uh, you also have the benefit of, like I said, if you only wanted to do five of them, there you go. You could do a five or you could do like one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks, you know, kind of two groups. You just got to go in and make sure like this obviously had something here. So that's why like the arms getting cut off, but not a bad tutorial. And it's very similar to what we did for the, the non-motion one. You just need good pictures. So.